All right, we're gonna do a couple of quick thrift store stops and then uh, I've got a handful of things that sold, not much uh, overnight. Had a pretty good weekend and then it's been a little bit slow this week, uh, but let's get into it. I think I have some more ASU stuff at home. That would be some vintage Porsche. That's pretty cool. Oop, the snap's down. Oh no, it's not broken. Oh, so that's not old flappy bird for a bulk. I think I'm gonna leave the flappy bird in Porsche Hawaii and ASU for three bucks. So this section seemed to be almost entirely those t-shirts that you get when you volunteer for something. I go through this place a lot and see good toys every once in a while, but really nothing today i'm glad i didn't have my kids because there was miles from tomorrowland and paw patrol and they would have begged for that i haven't bought hard goods from this place in quite some time uh there just seems to be a lot of filler nothing common stuff okay so not the most lucrative haul in the world but i only spent like six dollars and fifty cents and i got i turned the camera off right before i found this old john deere hat it's um it's not like the good old john deere hats but that's probably ten or twelve dollars this ASU hat, it's funny in the reverse, it looks like USA on the uh, uh, selfie cam. This is vintage. I'm not sure if it's licensed Arizona State or if it's uh, somebody just put those letters on there. But either way, that's a cool older hat. It's probably 10 bucks. This old Porsche, I, uh, I'm a little bit excited about. Uh, you poing? I don't know if you if I can get that to where you guys can see it or not. Yeah, I, I have no idea, but we'll find out. That's definitely vintage, definitely Porsche. Uh, this old Hawaii one caught my eye immediately. I thought it was pretty sick. Um, and none of these are like made in the U.S. High dollar name brand hats, but they are, uh, they're all just cool, older snapbacks. And then remotes were 50 cents a piece. If I'd known they were 50 cents a piece, I'd have dug a little bit harder. But there you had four Panasonic, Samsung, Sanyo, and Sony. They were, uh, these all had the backs and weren't universals. And they probably had five or six more in there, but I didn't bring a lot of cash with me. So, all right, on to the next place. All right, well, this is the Habitat for Humanity store. Um, I don't hold out a whole lot of hope for this place because... They mostly deal in big stuff and a lot of times their prices are like full retail or beyond but i do find stuff from time to time forgot my mask now i'm ready not exactly a lot of stuff you can flip to ebay and ship City. The pride of the city. Oh my goodness. That is cool. Got some kind of signature around on it about it. Hit one more store. I didn't know I was gonna find anything. I got a 
Saxton and Rush cassette and a pair of shell toes that don't have any laces for I paid six bucks for all of that so it's pretty cheap all day long oh I didn't even tell you guys I got that uh that gargoyle was 25 bucks I don't even know if I'm gonna get rid of it it's pretty cool this is the good roller I found a bunch of stuff last time Let's see if I do any good today Those DS's are gone. That surprises me. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. A sealed cassette. I'm gonna look at a sealed cassette. But these are $6.99, man. I'd be hard pressed to not pick that up just for the case. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, I get this just for the case and go through the records later, but I don't think there's anything there. That was $9.99. Simply obviously, I'll be through this case, but these are 45 cases are cool. So there are no more carts sitting out here. These are, these are a local hockey, your local hockey team. This is interesting. 25 great years. Not totally certain what happened to the audio here, but it got crazy loud feedback noise, so I had to cut it out. Anyway, this thing's not worth buying. Let's see if that's anything. <laughs> that is fantastic. How much is that? Five bucks. Oh my goodness. 1992 made in the USA. I'm gonna scan it and see if it's worth it. So I just found all this over there by this weird sinus thing. I found all this Merle Norman stuff. And the only one I could get to scan was this. And it comps at $75. Well, all of these are $3 a piece. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. That one covers way covers the cost and I'll figure the rest of them out when I get home. Man, so I saw this. And it's sealed Backstreet Boys. And it's got the cassette and the VHS in it. And I thought it'd be cool, but I scanned it and it's like eight bucks. So it's not really worth messing with. They also have down here with the VHS some uh, sealed Lucille Ball stuff. But man, I don't I just don't know this market. Walking by a clothes rack and found this Florida Gators number one for $3.99. I suspect that's Tim Tebow, but I'll have to look. So I don't know exactly what happened in there at the register, but uh, she's like, some of this won't scan and it's too expensive anyway, so it's $9.97. And I'm like, oh, okay. She tried to ring it out and it wouldn't ring out. And so she said she entered it as a dollar. And my receipt doesn't. 
necessarily reflect that. I don't, I don't know. I didn't rip off Goodwill, but the cashier um, didn't know how to charge me for everything. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. I'm just going to go home with my stuff because I tried to pay for it. Uh, am I a jerk? Should I donate? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, looking at my receipt, she charged me for uh, the jersey and the face mask and that Merle Norman stuff. She didn't ring it out, out at all. She did scan it all, but it didn't go on the register. And evidently, she didn't want to mess with it. I don't like leaving without paying for stuff. What should I do? A little follow-up quick before we move on with the video. I... I'm really meticulous when I take the uh, tags off of things that I keep the tag in one piece. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's an OCD thing. I like peeling uh, price tags. And so anyway, I peeled them all off and stuck them on this one piece of cardboard that was where I was working. And then I thought, huh, well, why don't I just take that in there and say, hey, this is stuff that got, I left with yesterday and I realized it wasn't on my receipt. So I went back in there and I paid for the... <laughs> Uh, items and the cashier was like what <laughs> and I'm like it's stuff that ended up not being on my receipt she's like and you want to pay for it now and I'm like yeah if you can just ring up these uh, barcodes then I will pay you for them because I left without paying for them yesterday and she's like oh how cool blah 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 and anyway that's what happened All right, so this is kind of a odd thing. I was on Facebook and they were having, somebody was having an auction, like an auction house with an actual auctioneer, but it was a Facebook Live thing. It's uh, because of what's everything that's going on. They just thought it would be easier to do it that way. So I ended up buying a lot of Mego action figures. Uh, I paid, I think I paid $70, maybe 75 And I sold like a, there was some muscle men and there was some, um, there was this GI Joe and there were a bunch of these, uh, several, four to be specific of these guys, uh, Mego Star Trek figures. And this one sold today for 30, 150, I'm guessing. Let's bring it up on the big board. How'd I do? Anyway, so he's gonna be super easy to ship. He's bendable, um, poseable at least a little bit, uh, enough that it'll be easy to put in a box. All right, next up sold is this uh, Avalanche jersey. I've had this a long time. I know I got it for $3.99 at Goodwill probably, probably a year ago, and it was listed for a little while, and it didn't sell, and then I relisted it last night, realizing that it was no longer listed, and I'd taken it to a couple flea markets, and nobody was interested. So I listed it last night, uh, and it sold this morning. Again, it's just bagged with my card already in it. This one is only different in that I'm going to put it in a flat rate envelope. All right. And the next thing that sold was this uh, vintage Logo 7 Hawkeyes single stitch uh, shirt. I got a, I have a feeling it sold to somebody on Instagram because I got a couple of likes on Instagram and then this sold pretty quickly. Um, and so there's a, uh, so that sold, it didn't sell for much. It sold for $15.49 plus shipping. So the buyer's all in at like 20 bucks. And I know I paid like $4 from my buddy Alex. And so I'll make probably, I'll probably make uh, like 12, something like that, 10 or 12 bucks on it. And then this sold, I had hoped I actually got this from the same guy. I had hoped this would sell pretty high. It's a DeKalb. It's got a rarer patch on it. It's an unusual, like, winter-style hat. And it's this K Products or K Brands, and it's new old stock. So I was hoping it was, like, a $75, $80, $100 hat. I, I had it listed accordingly for a while, and I kept getting, like, small, way smaller offers and not a lot of interest. Um... And so I dropped it down to 50 and then I got an offer for 40 and I thought I've had this long enough and I have like 
six, eight, ten bucks maybe. I might even have gotten this one in a bulk deal where I bought a bunch of hats for a dollar. So anyway, it sold for 40 bucks uh, plus shipping and uh, it's going out in a box. for this Iowa shirt. I'm just reusing a padded envelope from Target. We just tore the label off of it and they're getting a sticker and a card. DeKalb, DeKalb hat in a box with a sticker and a business card. Hey, if you're not following us on Facebook, eBay, and Instagram, obviously you're here because you're seeing us on YouTube, check those things out. Give me a like. It means a lot. Thanks. Because I know that this weighs more than one pound, then it's best on clothes to put it in these flat rate padded envelopes because it's just super duper easy and it costs, a, it costs the same and it's controllable and it's easy and it's free shipping materials. So boom, and there's the, sh the envelope, or there's the, um, Label, and we're good to go. That's crazy. The neighbors are playing uh, Spanish uh, music super loud. Anyhow, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen this guy in his new home. We got this little garden here, and I thought, man, that is just going to be a really cool place to put something like this so it's not very often that i find a really unique thing that i can make some money on and i keep it but it's also not very often that i get a chance to own a gargoyle at a reasonable price all right well that's going to do it for me today thanks for watching uh, but seriously click like and comment just say hey i watched or anything because it makes a huge difference on the channel i've noticed as people have started commenting i uh start getting more views and more subscribers and so if you could if you watch this and you would be willing to just put three periods in the comment box it would mean a lot to me say hi just say hi <laughs> not gonna say hi for dad but she'll smile she just turned one. All right, thanks for watching, guys.